And good morning, this is Abraham with uh, one more action script tutorial. And today we'll be starting our calculator. It's going to be done in several parts. And we'll be starting from scratch. Yes, um, starting from scratch enables everyone to watch from the very beginning. And at the end, they'll be able to do their own. Uh, I'm proud to say that uh, say that Schwab. Uh, com currently has over uh, 5,000 visitors every month. They come for the tutorials, they come for the code is extensively documented. They are able to copy, they are able to paste, they are able to customize. And uh, recently I've been posting several of these um, applications we create on Widgetbox. Yes, Widgetbox is a site that you can post your creations and they make money on revenue um, advertising advertisement money and our clock is there uh, a calculator a commission calculator is there and eventually I'll, I'll, I'll submit this calculator as well all right uh, enough of merchandising for today um, we have our background Needless to say, uh, it's a question of taste, and I'll be creating this rectangle to be a background for the eventual input box I'll be posting there. Uh, we want the line of the rectangle to be a little bit thinner than the line of the outside background, so the ink box bottle, the ink bottle, changes the thickness of the line, giving a neat appearance to our. Uh, a soon to be calculator. Uh, we're pretty much done with our background. Always name layers, always lock the layers you're not working at. So things are clear, things don't get mixed. And let's move on to the next layer, which are going to be the buttons. Now, our application will have four layers one for the background, one for the buttons, one for the window, and one for the script itself. So right now uh, we are on the buttons layer and we will be creating one single master button that will be cloned into 10 different buttons each one for a different digit starting from 1 until 0 after 9. So uh, I'll be creating a first button with the effects I wish a mouse over, a mouse down and uh, as soon as I have a satisfactory result I'll clone that so I make sure that all the others are identical no need to redraw no need to redo all I need is a perfect good looking button with a nice mouse over effect and once it's ready we'll be duplicating uh, we draw the shape, the shape is not a button, we have to convert into a symbol, as you know, there are movie clips, and this will be a button. The button has three states, actually four, uh, normal, over, down, and hit. Uh, again, to access these uh, items from ActionScript, we'll be using the instance name that is not on this tutorial, so right now the name I put on that uh, dialog box is nothing but a name for the symbol. All right, as promised, we have four states. And another thing is um, planning. I know that this button eventually will be duplicated. So therefore, um, we keep the background and the effects, and we want to change the label. So let's post both of them, uh, each one of them, on a different layer. So we keep things apart, we keep things clear, and we keep things simple. Um, calculators are great for uh, widgets. People can post them on their sites. They, people can post them for traffic. Uh, timers also are very good. There's uh, a website, online stopwatch, people use for uh, 
stopwatch and it's within Alexa is a single page with a timer and is generating a lot of income just for clicks alone because the man has Google Ads on the bottom of the page uh, there's no doubt that the web is moving into the uh, web 2.0 direction it's far away from plain text HTML pages and that's the science for now people who know how to create applications will get ahead it's just like people who know how to read and write and people who don't it's a advantage we have two three states right now and it's time to let's apply an effect over here we want our background to be green when the mouse is over we have a keyframe and uh, Take, um, let's put a shadow over here just for the sake of now the drop shadow will only apply on symbols or text if you have a shape on stage it won't work uh, let's test the movie now what you can see now is that great we have a mouse over we have a the red but the thing is the mouse over is not happening over the square only over the label over the number and that's not good we have to fix that and I'll tell you why uh, there's no hit area we have to go back inside of the symbol and that fourth state that you see over here hit has to have a keyframe and the keyframe has to have a rectangle defining where the hit area is going to be that's the uh, end of our tutorial and uh, let's solve this problem right away fortunately those are easy small problems to solve and soon we'll be able to have our master button on the next tutorial which is already on the way i taped it already uh we'll be duplicating this button and we'll be creating the uh, operation button as well for our calculator and we plan to as I said before, we're starting from scratch. All the source code is available. People who want to learn, people who want to improve, people who want to make changes, the resources are here. Uh, my email shows at the screen right now. If you have some questions, you're welcome to email me. I'll be glad to attend if possible. If not,